Steering the space shuttle in space was a complex task that required a combination of precision and teamwork between the astronauts and mission control on the ground. The space shuttle was equipped with several systems that allowed it to be controlled and maneuver in space, including the Reaction Control System RCS, and the Orbital Maneuvering System OMS engines. The RCS consisted of small rocket thrusters located on the nose and tail of the orbiter, which were used for fine adjustments to the shuttle's orientation and position in space. The RCS was controlled by the astronauts using hand controllers in the cockpit, and was primarily used for small adjustments to the shuttle's position. For example, the RCS could be used to make small adjustments to the shuttle's orientation to ensure that the shuttle's payload was properly positioned for deployment or retrieval. For larger and more complex maneuvers, the shuttle also had two OMS engines, located in the tail, that could be used to change the shuttle's velocity and orbit. The OMS engines were used for mid-course corrections, such as adjusting the shuttle's position relative to its target, and for injecting the shuttle into its final descent orbit for re-entry. The OMS engines were controlled by the shuttle's onboard computers, which were programmed with the desired maneuver before the engine firing. In order to steer the space shuttle in space, the astronauts and mission control on the ground had to work closely together. Before each mission, the mission control team would calculate the precise trajectory and maneuver plan for the shuttle, taking into account the shuttle's starting position, target position, and any obstacles or constraints along the way. This plan was then loaded into the shuttle's onboard computers, which would automatically execute the maneuver using the OMS engines. The astronauts on board the shuttle also played a crucial role in the maneuvering process. They monitored the shuttle's position and orientation in real time using the shuttle's onboard instruments and systems, and used the RCS to make small adjustments as needed. They also communicated with mission control on the ground, who could provide guidance and support throughout the maneuver. Thank you for joining us on this journey. We can't wait for you to see what's next, so make sure to stick around and check out our next video.